And uh, the White House is quite an exciting place to work right now. How is it different? It's different. We're getting a lot more, I mean, from a photographer's standpoint, um, we get a lot more access to the president. I see him more on a daily basis than we did with Barack Obama. And um, sometimes three or four times a day, sometimes five times a day, we will see him. And we're able to photograph him in different situations. Some meetings, some bill signings, executive orders, stuff like that. It's, um, and there's a lot of travel involved. Uh, not a lot of weekend travel other than to Mar-a-Lago or to Bedminster in New Jersey, where he likes to spend the weekends. Um, but it's, it's exhausting. And it, but it's great. I mean, it's very exciting. I mean, I love what I'm doing. I got the greatest job in the world. And, you know, being in the White House right now, you know, every time I see somebody that I haven't seen in a while, that's the first question they ask. How's your life changed? And what's different about it? And it is. It's very different. Um, we're going nonstop. And there's so many more different pictures, you know. I think um, photographing Barack Obama for eight years, he was uh, probably the most photogenic president, you know, in my generation easily and in many generations. And um, I look at just the past year of photographing Donald Trump and um, he's probably one of the most iconic. I mean, you look at a picture of him and no matter whether it's from the front, the side, the back, above, you know who it is immediately. And it's, it's, it's challenging, but it's fun. And uh, I love, you know, I love photographing him. Here's a photo that you took of uh, Donald Trump sitting at his desk. When yes. did you do that? That was shortly after he uh, took office. That was, um, you know, probably I believe in February or March, and it was uh, there was a period where he was signing a lot of executive orders, and um, again, us having more access to the president. We're in the Oval Office a lot longer than we normally have been. And therefore, you are able to be creative. I was able to put a camera up high in the air and look down on his desk, and I was waiting for them to bring the, the you know, the uh, executive order over to him. And I ended up just liking that picture better than the one of him with the actual papers in front of him. So um, when you're on the scene like that, can you see, you know, that sweep of light on the desk? Can you notice that when you're doing it? Are I you... did. Yes, I did. When I and because. I never noticed how, sh I mean, because other presidents have kept more things on the desk at times, and sometimes they're, um, it's blocked, but I think this was an, an afternoon signing, sun was coming in behind him, and it just cast that little vignette across there, and uh, I remember looking at it when I, you know, pulled it up in the computer thinking, wow, it looks even more dramatic than when I saw it in person. And you took the overhead shot, which we also have and it's become kind of your trademark. When did you start doing this and how do you do it? I basically take um, a monopod, a single you know, leg of like a tripod, a monopod, but it has a, a connector on the top of it and I put a ball head on top of that which allows me to pivot the camera up and down into the side and I lift it up as high as it'll go, probably 12, 15 feet at the most and then I'm able to tilt it over and I can't see through it so I'm eyeballing and I, I try and do a practice shot in the press room you know before I go out and I try and calculate how what the distance is to pre-focus because I have to I'm not using an autofocus I'm pre-focusing so then once it's up there I'm firing it as I watch him directly as he's gesturing or looking over and yeah I, I, I just think it's such a great unique you know view of the Oval Office or even on Capitol Hill at hearings and stuff like that um, I think it really brings a reader in to see who's in the room and how it's all being orchestrated and I you know especially when everybody's around him like that and having the right lens on um, I love doing them yeah